Goodbye everyone. Goodbye. This is going to be my last regular YouTube upload in a long, long time. If you were watching this video go live right now at this moment, I'm sitting in an airplane on the way to Brazil. If everything goes well, that is, uh, but I hope it does. I have been, uh, I've got myself a gig in the Atlantic rainforest of Brazil to study butterflies and moths for two months. Fantastic news, right? Personally, I am, I'm really excited to discover Brazil and all of its insects. But the downside is while I am there, I am not going to be able to edit videos. Because first of all, it would be a waste of time to be in a rainforest and sit there and edit videos. Second of all, the Wi-Fi is shared. Third of all, I only have my laptop and it's a really bad old laptop that doesn't allow me to edit footage. But the good news is, yes, there are going to be YouTube videos of the experience. Um, here are two external hard drives, five terabyte each. So these things were, uh, these things were over $100 each. I'm bringing them with me and a laptop. And while I'm in the rainforest, I can film, store the footage, film, store the footage, film, store the footage for two months. When I fly back to the Netherlands, and if my hard drives don't break and I lose all the footage, when I fly back to the Netherlands, I should have two months worth of videos in these things, which means I will be able to upload them in spring. So the good news is, if you are patient and if you like my channel, this channel will be to another level soon. Like this, everything I've been filming up until today is level one. And it feels like my YouTube channel is finally going to level two. After eight years of making moth videos, this is going to be it. The make it or break it moment. In the area where I am is over 830 species of butterflies. 200 species of silk moths, potentially. Um, over 200 species of hog moth in the Atlantic rainforest. It's going to be mind-blowing. Uh, not to mention the beetles, the spiders, the birds, everything, all the wildlife I'll be able to film. My experiences of working as an entomologist in the rainforest, moth trapping, you name it. It's going to be amazing. It really is going to be amazing. And uh, this is just my last video to say goodbye and tell you guys uh, what to expect. So uh, first and foremost, I'm not going to be able to uh, <clears throat> make any normal YouTube videos for uh, two months until um, I think around April is when uh, I'll be back to regular uploading. Unfortunately, that means you guys don't have anything uh, new to watch for two months. But I made over a thousand videos on my channel and I doubt that you've seen all of them. That's, that's impossible. So I kindly ask you guys to go back and watch some of my old videos um, until I come back, I guess. But before I leave, I thought it would be cool to show you guys a video of how I'm preparing, packing my bags. I'm going to show you all the stuff I have, all the stuff I want to take with me. Uh, just also to say goodbye, because in some way you guys have been my friends. I know that sounds silly, but you are. And um, talk about my journey and what you can expect to see. As you guys can see, my suitcase is huge. But it has to be if you're going to go away for almost two months. Now guys, the lighting in here is absolutely ridiculously terrible. Let's start with some of the more boring stuff. Which is uh, clothing. So, um, yeah, you guys want to see my underwear? This is where the Bart Coppens crown jewels are stored. I'm sorry, this is terrible. Ooh, very cool, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. This is just clothing, this is not the exciting part. Just gonna put that in there because, you know, it's nice to not be naked in Brazil. Now, the next thing that I'm bringing is uh, just a bunch of medicine. Not because I'm on all kinds of my medication, but I'm going to be in the rainforest. So there's a lot of stinging and biting insects. This is like just a painkiller against mosquitoes, 
I mean, the mosquitoes there can be bad. Malaria is very rare there, but it can happen. So, just uh, random stuff. Stuff against uh, diarrhea, yeah. I mean, I am in a foreign country, it can happen. Don't wanna get food poisoning and stuff. A few COVID self-tests, because why not? You never know. I actually haven't had COVID yet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my reason for traveling there is not just um, not just for social media, although I will be making videos as well, but also for research. I'm going to study moths in the rainforest, so um, I'll take one notebook so I can make notes in the field of what species I see. A Brazilian flag, because why not? That's probably just funny stuff for my video. And I can be in Brazil and show people a Brazilian flag and say, Hey, look, I'm in Brazil, people. Plastic bags. Uh, these will actually be very important because they protect my cameras from the rain. It's a rainforest and if it starts to rain, I need to hide them somewhere where water doesn't come in. Now, one of the subjects I've always been interested in is the wingspan of Saturnid moths. Uh, I'm not sure why, but their size, their wingspan has always fascinated me. So I'm bringing a lot of equipment that will allow me to measure this. This is just a cutting board, but I recently found that actually cutting boards are super useful for moth breeders. Because you, you can just put the moth on here and take a picture with the background and you get a very good idea of its size. On my YouTube channel I call it the wingspan board, but it's really just a cutting board. So here's some equipment. Several rulers to measure um, the size of these moths. And uh, here a very fancy ruler, but this, this old one is only for small moths. Because um, it only goes up to 15 centimeters. It's also sharp as hell, wow. So if a moth is bigger than this, it's gonna be useless. But, but like for measuring small arctids and small saturnids, this is a very useful tool to have. So yeah, we can place that inside of here. So. If you want to make good YouTube videos, it's important to have your equipment that's stable. So here we got a tripod. Let's see if we can put the tripod here, that would be nice. If we can put it down here. Tripods are very useful, people. This is a tip if you're a YouTuber like me and you want to film wildlife, please use a tripod to make your uh, footage so much less shaky. Life is not complete without a bunch of insect cages. So allow me to capture insects. No, I'm not going to bring any insects from Brazil to my country. That's highly illegal. I don't have a permit. I'm going to be working with professional biologists and scientists. I don't want to tarnish my reputation by smuggling pet insects from a rain forest. But that's fine. I'm going to enjoy seeing them in the wild. Despite the cages are just for collecting um, my material that night, measuring the wingspan and having a place to keep them for one or two days before I let them go. That's fantastic. <clears throat> Another thing I have is an ultraviolet light. This will allow me to find stuff like scorpions and even some caterpillars that glow in the dark when you shine on them with UV. For observation purposes, some insect containers, of course. You might wonder if all of this will fit in, honestly. I hope it will. It's starting to be a little bit full, huh? What? There you go. Hmm, I think we can fit a little bit more. Now people, there's, uh, I've heard there's a lot of um, famous biologists and entomologists working there and uh, people who are famous in the biology community. So I'm gonna bring some of my cards so I can hand them out. Why not, eh? See YouTube, Bart Coppen, so I can give my card to people uh, that I befriend. That's how you make contacts. Now people, uh, I'm not getting when I say I invested a lot in this trip. A lot. So, for the hand luggage, I have a whole lot of gear and equipment. First of all, I have a brand new camera. Um, one with uh, 
decent zoom range, but um, with this I'll be able to capture wildlife and birds like never before on YouTube. Um, I haven't actually uploaded any footage with this camera yet because I want it to be a surprise. So you, uh, when I return uh, to my country in two months, you're going to see wildlife footage with a higher quality than you've ever seen on my channel. So I got myself like these, one of these super power banks, so I can uh, charge stuff, at least, in case I don't have power. Spare old camera, vlogging camera. So that's already two cameras right there. This is camera number three. Camera number four, it's a GoPro. So as you can see, uh, I'm packed with equipment. Then again, there is uh, <clears throat> the chargers, the hard drives. Basically, I'm, I feel like a, a one-man camera crew at this point. With the amount of stuff I have to carry. Man. I'm also going to bring a laptop. Wow. And of course, the two hard drives. These babies uh, are going to store all the footage for two months. They are very important. They are crucial, actually. Crucial. If, if they break for some reason, I lose all my footage for two months. So uh, let's hope uh, that doesn't happen. Let's not jinx it. Last but not least, I want to say that usually we do a monthly FHQ on my channel where my sponsors and patrons can send me questions. And I answer them every month in a special FHQ video. Obviously for now I will have to postpone that one for two months. Uh, I apologize if you cared about the FHQ. But I'm telling you the patience is going to be worth it. The amount of tropical butterflies and insects is immeasurable. And you know what? When I come back, we'll do a, a triple Patreon FHQ with extra long questions. I also have a video uh, series on my channel called Coffee with Bart, where every time that we hit a certain tips goal, we make a special custom uh, video where I show you a special Dutch snack from my country. Obviously, I will not be able to upload this if this happens when I'm in Brazil. But if we hit the goal in Brazil, I'll show a local snack from Brazil, I guess. But upload a video when I come back to the Netherlands from the rainforest. So in April you're going to see uh, all of it. Take care people, take care. Is there anything else I want to say? Let me think. Oh yeah, this channel is demonetized and um, when I upload a video I don't make money from it. This channel is crowdfunded. If you were considering crowdfunding me and you are um, kind of on the edge, now is the best time you could ever do it. Now you could say Bart. Why is now the best time? Because you're not going to make any videos for two months. Well, let's just say when I'm in Brazil, the way I can use the funds there is insane. Like for a 50 to 100 dollars, you can do excursions into the mountains, uh, see extra landscapes. So I'm gonna use all the crowdfunding I get right now and uh, use it to make my trip more awesome and uh, Go the extra mile for you to show you the coolest footage. I'm rambling, but uh, yeah, it's time to wrap it up and go there. And when I come back in spring, this channel will be like on level two, right? This is level one. Finally, it feels like graduating, you know? I'm going to show you guys what I've been really capable of all these years. <sighs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's it for now, I have everything. I'm excited and scared. Me alone on the other side of the world, that's crazy. It's going to be spectacular. I'll see you guys in two months. The good news is I can still have a limited ability to upload with my smartphone. But when I do, it's only going to be in the YouTube Shorts format, like vertical phone videos. So it's not like there's not going to be any videos, but this is like the last regular video you're going to see in a long time. Except maybe a few short videos. That is all. 
it was you guys that helped me get here. It was you guys who helped me get to this point. I'm eternally grateful for you. How it was YouTube that helped me? Uh, I will tell you that story later when I return. I'm running out of time and I must go to the airport. Last but least, I have one surprise to share with all of you. For a long time I've known that there was going to be a time on my channel that I am not going to be able to upload videos for a long time. And therefore you guys are going to have to rewatch my old videos. But I have over a thousand videos. I doubt you've seen all of them. So go back, watch some old videos and here's something nice. For a long time, I've been hiding Easter eggs in my videos. And I mean literal physical Easter eggs. And no one ever noticed, like no one ever noticed that in a lot of my videos there's one of these eggs. That's funny. <laughs> so now I'm not able to upload videos for a long time. You can go back, watch my old videos and try to find the Easter eggs that I've hidden. Because they are there. They are absolutely there. In a lot of videos actually, so I challenge you, how far can you go back in time on my channel and find some of the Easter eggs? That's going to keep you Bessie for the next few months. <sighs> wow. I'm sweating. I'm a bit nervous. There's still one more thing to pack and it's this very camera. So, you're going into my bag, friend. I stop filming now. This is the beginning and the end of an era. And when I come back, I promise you, I will try to do my best to show you the most awesome videos I made in my lifetime in April. Ciao, ciao. I'm going to miss you.